So hey you guys, it's Tamika with Tea Views by Tamika. Thank you so much for coming back again. Thank you so much for being present to watch my video. So this video right here is going to kind of be a spring refresh for my dining room. Actually, it's just for the dining room table. I am going to take everything off of the dining room table and reset it again so that it can have a seasonal look for the springtime. I was having some technical difficulties <laughs> during the time of filming this, so just please be patient with me as far as um, my lighting and the way it's showing, but overall, I think that I got the point across to you guys. Additionally, in the beginning, you're going to see me do a little DIY. So I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you exactly what it is. I'll just let you see it. But I just want you to know that the DIY comes before the actual refresh of the dining room table. With that being said, we're going to jump right into the video and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Please leave me some feedback at the end as to what you thought was good or what I may could have done better. Thanks you guys. See you in the video. So this is what we're going to be spray painting today. Um, I know you probably say, well, those are already so, so pretty. But I want to give it a look for the spring. And if I wanted to go back to this color, I most certainly could. So we're going to be using this spray paint right here. It's called a perfect pink. It's old, so it's kind of um, washed out. So if I don't like this color, I have another pink in the garage that I would use. So we're going to go ahead and wipe these down and try it out. First thing I'm going to do, you guys, is just spray them down. Look, there's an N on it already. I'm going to spray them down and wipe them off. Make them free of dust free and clear of dust and by the way I did get these from Walmart and they were only one dollar a piece they are made by Better Homes and Garden I hope you can see that I thought that one dollar was a excellent price of course so now that we're done cleaning I'm going to spread the paper out so that I'm not getting spray paint everywhere. And I'm going to put these on the paper. Which will hold the paper down as well because as you can see it's windy. But it's beautiful outside. Let me take the spray paint out really well. And here we go. We're going to see how this works out. Now I'm just going to spray the top of these. I'm not going to worry about the back of them. Let's get started. So it's kind of giving it a rustic pink look because of the color up underneath it. And I really like that actually. Now, ain't nobody got time for stuff to be flying. So you guys, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by the wind, this paint is drying really, really fast and it's giving it a rustic glam look. And I really like that because of the color underneath. I started to prime it first, but I wanted to see how it looked before I primed it. So with that being said, I don't think that I am going to prime it. I'm just going to do this here. It's going to look so pretty. It's already looking gorgeous. Let's spray some more, another coat. Thank you, son, for helping my stuff to dry faster. But no thank you, Win, for blowing my stuff all over the place and dropping my camera. So yes, I love this pink. You have to tell me what you think, but I really love this pink. I actually don't really care for the second coat on here because it kind of takes the rusticness away. So I'm not going to paint the other three as much as I spray painted that one. I'm going to leave it that light pink that looks more distressed. Obviously we will not be eating off of these. This is going to be used to layer on the dining room table. Spring project. 
Honey, get you some spray paint and go to town. So these three right here are pretty much looking the same. This one, because I put a second coat on it, is a lot pinker. So we'll just put that to the other side. There's really nothing I can do about it at this point. Unless I prime it and then put another coat on it. Prime it a white and then put another coat on it. But then it's going to look so different, I think, from the other one. So we're just going to leave it alone. You live living there. So I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. So I'm just going to use these rustic, <laughs> rusty garden scissors to hold the paper down so it doesn't fly on top of them. Although I think that they are already dry actually. We're going to give it a little bit more time to sit out here and dry in the sun. So the first thing I wanted to do was show you guys how the table was set previously before I began to take everything off so I just want to give you a little close-up of how I have things layered how I have things set up as you can see here so the first thing I'm going to start doing is clearing the table off of everything that I have currently set on there. Just going to take it all off, remove it so that I can begin to get the table nice and clean. Wipe it down and get it ready for the next thing. So I just want to show you these coasters really quick. Got these from TJ Maxx. It was a pack of four for only $4.99. So cute, so glam. Right here, I am starting to spray the table down with Mrs. Meyer's all-purpose spray. And it is in the scent of lilac. It smells so, so good. So even though it's not glass spray, remember it says all purpose spray. So you can even use that spray for glass or whatever kind of surfaces. It still cleans great. You guys, story on that tray later. Here are some new placemats that I got from Home Goods. They have tulips embossed all over them. They are yellow. You can't really see how pretty these are. The camera is not giving it any justice. I told you guys my lighting is just like so off. There are the chargers that I spray painted. Look at them. They're pink and they look very rustic because of that copper color. So I'm just going to layer it with the white plates that I already had. I got those from Home Goods. Those are so pretty as well. They have the little scroll print around them. Just gonna layer the pink chargers with them, put them right on top. There's a cake pan there that I already hauled for you guys, so you've already seen that. Here are some napkins that match the placemats exactly. They are embossed with the same print, which are tulips, so I'm just pulling it through nicely. Previously, I had those yellow flowers that I used instead of using napkins, which I thought was a great, great idea. And later on, you'll see where I used those yellow flowers again on this place setting. Those napkin ring holders that I'm putting on there, I actually spray painted those. They were a brownish color and I spray painted them silver. So here I'm just trying to give this plant a pop of color. So I'm inserting some yellow. There's gonna be a lot of flowers, you guys. A spring flower overload. So I'm just gonna place those coasters down on all four of the place settings. And I have some black and white mugs that I had down previously 
got those from Macy's. I'm just going to sit them down as well. And I'm still trying to style this tray right here. You see that little plant right in front of the white one. I got that from Walmart actually. So, so pretty. Has a bunch of peonies on it. And that right there is just a little apple bowl that I hold peppermints in. And here I just want to give you a little look as to how the table is turning out. thought it turned out very nice. There's your spring flower overload there. I made that pink arrangement right there with the green. I made that myself. I want to show you the napkin holder right here that I spray painted. Got these flowers here from Michaels. That vase right there, that pink vase that I made the floor arrangement in, it's actually from Kirkland's and I hauled that one before as well. So you guys, that big, big tray, I actually bought that from Home Goods in Virginia the first time I ever, ever visited a Home Goods. Let me tell you, I was in awe of that store. It was so humongous. Oh my gosh. I cannot leave that store though without that tray. That tray is fully mirrored. It's extremely heavy. And it was like, I want to say about $50. And I ended up talking them down to like $30 because it had a little scratch on it. And some of the metal had been removed. And you could hardly tell, but still, you know, it was the only one in the whole store. And the lady was, was nice enough to give it to me at that discounted rate. So here I just put that little hello sign there. Just to give you a look of spring. Extra springish. <laughs> if that is even a word. I love, love, love the pops of yellow throughout this so you give me your feedback tell me what you think here it is my lighting is all over the place but I hope you like it so I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed the refresh do me a favor leave me a comment down below letting me know how you enjoyed it if there was something that you liked or if there was something that you thought that I could do better or if I should rearrange something. Just leave me a comment and let me know about that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here subscribe. I do try to put out videos often, but sometimes I have technical difficulties. I don't have a lot of YouTube equipment where I can set up a lot of different things. I'm very limited right now because I'm a new YouTuber, but just be patient with me. I'm sure all of the wrinkles will get ironed out soon, but in the meantime, Try to rock with me, stay with me, and enjoy the videos that I put out. If you would, just do me a favor, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks you guys, and I hope you have a blessed day.